YouTube, what is going on? My name is Hypocrisy and I put the D in S and D and I'm officially back from holiday, finally. Uh, this is the first video that I've recorded since being back from Turkey. I had a great time and thank you guys for all the uh, wonderful support you gave me on my videos that were uploaded whilst I was away. Um, I wasn't cloned, um, it was courtesy of uh, YouTube's schedule uploader so um, the fact that I'm partnered means I can still bring you guys content even when I'm in another country which is pretty damn cool but I'm playing some COD 4 and I go 13 and 0 in 5 rounds yes we got ninja defused sadly I did kill the guy that defused the bomb but it was too late but I'm playing with the wonderful Eric otherwise known as Spanksy and this was taken in the middle of the uh, six part live session series that we did which featured on his channel and um, it was super fun and thank you to all the guys that have come over from Spanksy's channel uh, I'm really glad that you subbed and thanks for stopping by and hopefully uh, you'll enjoy my content as well We both kind of have the same target audience. So um, yeah, thank you guys for coming over And it was just uh, I just want to touch on that and say um, thanks to Eric. It was a huge It was a huge moment for me. It was I don't want to sound like a complete douche But it was like a proper fanboy moment, you know, like I've, I've been watching the uh, S&D Elite guys for a long time now and um, I was playing with Alex my cob one night and he dropped me into a lobby with uh, Spanksy and Dysfunction and then Alex left, so I was just kind of like left in this lobby with uh, Tyler and Eric, and I was like, holy shit, they're going to think I'm a total random. So, like a shy, timid schoolboy, I was like, guys, do you mind if I tag along and play some Call of Duty? <laughs> and they, they, I didn't actually say it in that voice, but they were, um, they were super cool about it, and we played for a couple of hours. And Tyler left, and me and Eric kind of got talking, and... I, um, I talked to him about my YouTube channel and stuff, and then he kind of started tweeting out my links, and... Uh, and eventually I just commented on one of his videos, I think one of the ones he did with Alex, just saying if you need a guy to do a live session with COD4 with, give me a shout. And I think because he kind of likes some of my content, uh, he agreed to do this with me. And it was super fun and just a, just a massively cool opportunity. And um, I just want to thank him personally because uh, he's a super cool guy. And, you know, I think I subscribe to people on YouTube for kind of the overall quality of their videos, not just like for gameplay, not just for commentary, but... Eric kind of brings the, the whole package, you know, and I think he's probably the one YouTuber that I just really look forward to watching um, all the time. So um, thanks to him for this series. I'm going to take my dick out of his bum now and uh, <laughs> carry on with the commentary. But yeah, thanks, dude. Uh, I love you, man. But yeah, uh, this game is just fucking amazing. I, I love COD 4 so much. It, I had a conversation with one of my friends recently, and he's kind of like, he was trying to say that basically people only enjoy the older games due to kind of nostalgia reasons. But I'm totally, I'm in total disagreement there because I just, I think these games just work so much better than the new games, and it's because of the one thing is that they're simple. They're simple games, and I know like kind of a lot of the poster art for the new game, Modern Warfare 4, is it? God, um, their slogan is branded as back to basics. So one can only hope that they will kind of adapt a similar. Uh, structure as they do in this game because this game works because it's so simple there's not any bullshit you know there's nothing that really um, helps new players you have to earn the right to be good at this game and I, that's what I loved you have to kind of uh, train train your eye and, and, and get used to all the guns and the maps and you have to play it to, you have to play it to be good you can't just go in and use kind of target finders and shock charges bouncing bettys and stuff to, to, to get kills and I love that I wish all Call of Duty's had been the same since then but unfortunately that's not the case but yeah I actually bought this game last year so I didn't I didn't play it in its prime I wish I had because it's just hacked so much at the moment I think Eric and I run into a few um, hacked lobbies this is where we get injured by the way I kill this guy but um you know if the lobbies weren't hacked so much I'd probably be uploading a lot more COD 4 but you know it's really difficult to get gameplays because guys are dropping out the host leaves and it's just really hard because people are hacking and stuff and it would just make for crap content so we were fortunate enough to manage to get six games out of it but yeah I, had, I started in Modern Warfare 2 so um, I'd love to try and upload more of that, but I wasn't, I'm not particularly good at that game because I started getting okay at it when Black Ops 1 came out and then I had to move on to that game, so it was, <laughs> I didn't really get a good chance to kind of session Modern Warfare 2 how I'd like to, but maybe I'll go back and try and get some search games on that, but I love COD 4, it's one of my favourite games, and uh, maybe you'll see some more of it on my channel, but I hope you enjoy this game, I know it's only, I know it's in 5 rounds and it's 30 and some of you are going to be like, oh my god, that's not a gameplay, but um, fuck off, I don't really have gameplay standards. Um, and people that have really high standards are just stupid because they end up getting more frustrated with the game and putting more pressure on themselves. You know, you just have to enjoy it. And I really like COD 4, and I, I wanted to upload it just for that reason, really. So hopefully you guys will be cool with that. If not, then I don't really care. But uh, <laughs> in regards to some future content I've got coming up, um, I really enjoyed uh, making the live League Play series, and you guys seem to enjoy it too. I had some really nice comments and some really good feedback on those episodes, and they're super fun to make. And I think... 
they kind of just give you guys something you don't normally get from a YouTube video, and that's kind of like that whole listening feature where you can kind of hear um, in-game chat and a bit of banter as well. It was super fun, but unfortunately, two of the guys who I uh, recorded those games with have now moved on to PC gaming solely, so I won't be able to record using the same team, but that'll be quite cool because I can kind of make a new team and uh, it'll bring you some different content, I guess. So I might do some more live league play in the future. Um, they don't do as well as uh, the normal commentaries, those live sessions, but they're super fun for me to make. And I'm kind of moving more towards recording some more live stuff because, you know, stri striving and playing solo or running doubles just to get gameplays is getting a little bit stale on this game. So, uh, And talking about live sessions, I recorded some with another YouTuber last night. You may know him. He's called Mr. JSD. We had a blast and it was super fun. So I'm recording some sessions with him, which will be uploaded probably by the end of this week, the first one. And... Um, I'm also recording some sessions with my mate Mitch, also known as uh, Sidekick or I'm Sidekick on Twitter. I'll drop his channel link to both uh, Jack, Eric and Mitch in the description. Make sure you sub to Mitch. He's new to YouTube and he's making some really good commentaries for like kind of a newer, like a new timer to YouTube. So make sure you go and check him out because he's making some good stuff and he's a search player as well. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you again soon. Peace.